Hello guys, this is Eric Day from ACS Learning Hub. Welcome back to my channel. I'm, I would like to apologize that I'm late. Okay, I'm supposed to start at 9 o'clock, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm so sorry about it. Uh, some technical issue that uh, delay our live session over here. Okay, so yes, uh, let me quickly come back into this live session with all of you, all right? Okay, so what are we going to talk about it tonight? Okay, let's see uh, over here. Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see. I hope all of you can hear me clearly, huh? Okay. <laughs> Okay, all right. So right here today, what do we have here? Huh? Okay. Right. Hi, Matthew, Manwai, Niman Hao. Okay, so I hope to see the rest of you also. Okay, so tonight, let's see what do we have here. Hi, Quack. Nice to see you here. Sawadikrab Kong. Did I pronounce your name correctly? Kong, right? Okay. Uh, Kong Sip. Right. Hi, Alan. Nice to see you here. Okay, so over here. Yes, uh, today. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I'm so rushed and uh, I don't know. Uh, at the same time, some technical issue. Okay, so today, uh, what am I uh, going to do with uh, all of you here? Okay, so let's take a look at uh, what do we have here uh, in our trading. Okay. So I hope the sound is okay, huh? <clears throat> oh, Thai, oh, it's really well. Need <laughs> noise, uh, <laughs> Okay. So yes, uh, remember to also give me a like. Okay, remember to smash the like button. All right, if you. Okay, so if I here smash the like button to give me some support here. Okay. <laughs> okay, so yes, uh, over here, I will be. I'll be using a bit of uh, English, uh, mostly English and also a little bit of Thai, nah? okay? Because uh, I think uh, we are opening very soon, so I guess it's also time for me to practice my Thai. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so over here. Uh, I'm taking this opportunity, okay? I'm taking this opportunity to actually uh, to revise, to do some revision over here. Okay, so... This uh, revision of what we have captured today. Okay, uh, where is my chart? Hey, my chart went missing. Ooh. Okay, so let me see. So cool. Okay, Euro dollar, right? Euro dollar. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, this Euro dollar. Okay, Euro dollar. Okay, so I uh, guess today we have uh, we capture some TP from Euro dollar. Okay, Euro dollar, right? So Euro dollar over here. Okay, uh, yes, uh, over this side here. And now, okay, right now, uh, let's talk about trend. Okay, let's talk about trend. Huh? Okay, so in this trend. Uh, usually how I actually start to read my chart. Okay. Firstly, okay, firstly, in Forex trading, we have to understand where is the trend. What is the trend heading? Okay, sorry. <laughs> what am I talking about? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> okay. So let's see yeah, over here. Huh? Let's see over here. First of all, first of all, okay, we need to know where is the trend. Okay, the trend, where is the trend heading? Okay, why is the trend? Where is the trend heading? Ah, that's what I want to say. <laughs> so, uh, usually, how you see? Okay, usually you are. Uh, I I will go to day one because in our system over here, our learning system here, day one, okay, day one over here is actually our general trend so 
get to know where's the general trend before we start trading okay the general trend is very important yes it's very important huh okay so over here like uh over here like you see uh this is a bad trend as we can see okay this is a bad trend it's very straightforward to tell a trend okay to tell a trend as you can see if you draw uh anything like uh some people like to draw uh some like trend lines some people like to draw some uh i don't know what kind of indicators that you like to have okay so this is something that I'm, I, I would like to tell you, okay, if you if you connect the dots, okay, if you connect the dots downwards, you actually see the line is actually going downwards, right? It's going downwards. Okay, so going downwards here, when the line is going downwards, okay, like this, okay, then you will be able to tell, then you will be able to see that, you know, okay, it is, it is uh, something that is in the bear. And now, if it's in the bear, okay, then I want to short. That means I want to sell. Okay. Okay. So over here, <clears throat> like uh Gong. Highland we say long mark mark, uh, right? <laughs> long mark mark, uh, over here. Okay, so this is a bear trend. So this is a bear trend, but we have to understand that in the bear trend, there are sometimes there's some retracement. Okay, there will be some retracement. Like example, this way, this is a retracement here. This is a retracement it hits on support then it goes up all the way then it comes back again to a lower price even if it's in the bear trend you cannot expect to go to see a bear a, a selling chart all the way down correct you cannot see it all the way down uh then you know this is uh this this uh this will be this will be something that i i i wanted to say huh okay so over here, <clears throat> uh, over here, when there's a support, it starts to retrace upwards. When there's a support, it retraces upwards, right? Then it's also something that we need to take note. It's in the bear trend. So when it started to have some retracement going up, it doesn't mean that okay this is a reverse i'm going to start buying okay i'm going to start buying cannot huh okay uh usually how i do okay how i trade is that i know this is a bear trend okay so when there's a green candle okay then when, when there's a green candle okay then uh, over here okay this one i will not i will not the uh, i will not i will not the uh, I will not this uh take into consideration of buying because I'm in a bear trend, uh, okay. Long mark mark means going down a lot. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that's right, that's right, huh? <laughs> ah, okay, thank you, Kong. I'm practicing, uh, you must teach me, uh. <laughs> okay, so over here, the bear trend when there's a green candle coming out in the day one, usually is a sign of retracement. So when there's a sign of retracement, that's, that means to say it may change the trend going by, correct? It may change to buy. So in this case, in this case, okay, you may want to see, okay, you may want to check whether it's a reverse or it's a retracement, okay? Whether it's a reversement or it's a retracement. So it's also something that we need to pay attention to, okay? So uh, today, Right now, today it came down, then it went up again, and it start to come down again with a red candle coming down over here. If I draw a line here, okay, it may be much clearer if you can see. Okay, over here, right from here. Yeah, this part here, as you can see, this is a support, right? This is a support. So it breaks the support, and it come down. It start to go up again, and it hits here, and it come down again right it hits and comes out again so from the beginning of march one month ago okay we have we have we have been selling this uh eu since the day when the war starts on the 24th correct on the 24th february so it has been selling 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 and now started to retrace upwards but is it a reversement when you see a green candle oh my god okay and can i say that uh and I say that now it's a reversal. Okay, when you see a green candle, it doesn't mean reversal.
Uh, okay. Okay. So in green green candle in Thai called Tian Si Kiao. Am I? <laughs> okay. So over here, when you see, you have to pay attention. When it goes up, the previous support, this is a previous support, it has been tested and break. So don't jump into a conclusion so fast. Okay, don't jump into a judgment that is actually a reversal. It's going for long, 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 long go up, 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 up for a bull market. It may not. Okay. So just be a little bit uh just take a look at for the past like today, today over here. When I look back, when I look back over here, uh charge over here, previous support over here has been tested and it breaks correct when it breaks let me explain a little bit where this is the previous support becomes the resistance okay the previous support that become the resistance so in this case this previous support has become a resistance okay why it has become a resistance support means support why is it that it become a resistance for example many retail trader okay many retail trader they we learn support resistant in a way okay in a way this is a support okay when you see red candle red green green this is a support okay and then tian zi kiao tian zi kiao is a support okay so when the chart started to come down to this area there are many many trader in the market okay you will start to have a lot of uh, a lot of this uh, buy limit, okay? So they're waiting for the price to hit here, then automatically it will go into the trade. Correct? Okay. Who knows? A lot of a lot of uh, trader enter the trade here because this is a support. I want to buy. But who knows the price actually break down? Okay. So it break down. So now. Okay, so over here, when it break down, it start to the, all the buyers here, all the buyers here, either they lose money or they hold the trade. Okay, they will hold the trade. Huh? Okay, so see then. Shy, 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 see then. Okay, so see then, see then, long mark, mark, long mark, mark over here. Okay, start to short, start to short until see here. Okay, green candle start to go back. It start to push back okay now there's one thing that you need to pay attention okay this part huh why previous support become a resistance this is a support right when it comes to here it become a resistance okay why let me zoom in and take a look okay right here <clears throat> support tested tested break so many buyers actually from here they start to lose money either the sl or they hold the trade so when it comes back here when it comes back here it hits on the price of entry where the previous buyer entered for the buy correct so the usually the sentiment you know the kind of psychology okay for buyers who in who previously who buy here they will start to okay okay i know i no more lose money okay or i lose a little bit i lose need noise okay okay i let go let go actually when they let go that means they sell away the buying trade correct they sell away the buying trade so when they sell away the buying trades increase selling volume so when they increase the selling volume you will see such a candle like here okay there's a rejection candle long uh, uh a long wick on top upper shadow start to come down then become red candle become sedan correct okay so over here this actually with this candle movement this is a price action okay with this price action over here it will it it, it, it is telling you okay there's a lot of previous buyer actually let go of their trade here okay All right okay
So now, this part here. This part here, when they let go of the trade, then it is something that is coming for a selling. So this part here, because of the increase of the selling previous buyers that sell away their buying trades, increase the selling. It actually increased the selling volume, then start to sell. So naturally, the buying volume, previous buying volume decreased. And there's only a plenty of sellers actually enter at this price. Okay, because they sell away their trade. And that attracts, and that actually attracts a lot of other sellers to buy. They induce a lot of sellers to buy and sellers out there in the retail market will start to sell together when they sell when they start to sell together it is also it is also a way that uh, that is actually increasing the volume in the market so over here it will become a it will become a okay so it become a resistance so i'm i am i am actually reading this Okay, I'm actually reading this according to how I read the chart, how I analyze why EU I can sell today. Okay, so did anyone capture your EU today? Euro dollar. Anyone capture TP on Euro dollar? Okay, so share with me. Let me know. Okay, so that's how that that is how I read the, how that's how I read the chart. Okay, and telling me today that we got a chance to sell. Okay, so for the past few days, we have tested once over here and it is not breaking. So when it's not breaking over here, it's actually showing the, the strength of the resistance. Ah, okay, it's showing the strength of the resistance over here. Once again, the third tries over here, okay, the third tries, this part here is actually a loss breakout. Then it start to swing back again within the resistance area. Am I right? Okay, so now this is interesting. So this is day. So the day, the day one actually telling me all this story. But all this story, I do it step by step. It tells me what's the trend today. Okay, so do would I have a chance to grab a profit in this trend? right okay so let's see now we have a uh, briefly over here can you see uh let me change this to a green okay okay this green okay that's a green dotted line here okay. so we can see there's a support right here okay there's another support over here there's another support here so this way now when we are looking at this, okay, when we are looking at this, this is actually telling us it hits on the support here, it builds a higher support, which is higher low. Any higher low, it also means a higher support. Why do I call it a higher support? Can you see this support is higher than the previous support? This support is higher than previous support. So it's a sign of strength by okay it's a sign it will go up very it will go up very strongly okay so over here as you can see support support so today we are actually on the support we are actually breaking out the support not on the support we are actually breaking out of the support it's a bit struggling because support is not a definite a specific point of price okay it is actually in the area okay it's in the area so this is the area of support okay this is the area of support so this is the area of support huh? so let's see but why am why why is that, that i still have a chance to sell today in the euro dollar basically this is only the day it's in the general trend so the general trend actually telling me there's a higher support higher support higher support but all this higher support, one higher support has the previous support that become a resistance and previous buyer sell away their trades. So 
That means to say previous buyer has no confidence that it will it will break up. Okay, so the resistance has formed. So once again, it came down and the support, another support, a new support, actually a higher support here, it builds up, start to go and test the same resistance again. Test, it's testing on the same resistance once again, but it's not breaking. So this resistance is considered strong. Yes. Okay. So now come back here again. Hey, this time around the support is higher than the previous support. And now it went to test the resistance. It seems like, oh, it has a false breakout. Then come back again. Okay. Uh, when we talk about false breakout, uh, you know, in uh, there's a there's, there's a lot of people in uh, saying, okay, this is a false breakout. Uh, it's a it's a it's a play a full game okay so is that this this uh euro dollar is playing a full with us okay, trying to trick us okay so this is a false breakout okay so in uh, malaysia right okay. so okay. In, in in fact, uh, the force breakout, okay, the force breakout over here, it can be read it as, okay, some institutional that comes in, okay. So a lot of a lot of us when when, uh, when start to break out here, okay, ready to buy because you set the buy limit, okay, no no no, not buy limit, <laughs> okay, this one, okay, when it breaks in, okay, I start to buy, and when you start to buy. It goes up, up, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But this is the resistance. This is the resistance, right? So when the is then maybe that that is saying that the institutional that comes in, the insti institutional that comes in, they will not take action immediately. Okay, resistance supposed to sell. And when the price comes, they help the buyer to push through. Okay. They help the buyer to push through. So when the buyer push through, when they help the buyers to push through, when they see the price is almost there, okay, and they start to sell. So people who sell at the resistance, okay, over here, without any confirmation, okay, once it touches, okay, I'm gonna set a sell limit over here. All right, let's do a sell limit. Okay, let's do a sell limit over here. Okay, institutional player comes in pushed up and you know you guess what you see this is usually things like this about 30 pips okay in the retail market mostly we have a psychology of greed okay psychology of i wouldn't say greed that's not greed okay i'm so sorry i would say that uh a very dream on maybe or, or maybe not the correct risk management but the retail trader is always correct okay when I want to lose, I only want to lose easy pip. Okay, easy pip. But when I want to win, I want to win nang loy pip. Nang loy pip. Is it correct? So if I when I when I set my SL, I set about 20, 10 pip, 20 pip. But when I want to set my TP, I set 100 pip, 200 pips. Without any without any reading. Just enter the trade. Okay. I'm talking about people who don't who who don't really have a strategy okay a lot of basic players lah, out there so we are just oh forex is uh, it's a game that's easy to make money nine nine nah, nah, okay so is that true without any strategy do you think is that true so put it this way when i am when i pump in the trade i lose i only want to lose six pip, pip but when i want to win i want to win 100 pip 200 pips or even a thousand pips so usually, when you see such a things happen, one try, two try, and it started to stop. Okay, when I'm going to explain something like this thing called uh, a lot of retail trader without any any proper trading knowledge, they will just pop in the trade here. But when the institutional comes in, push it up. It hits the 10 pip SL, 20 pips SL. Then after that, a little bit more. 
and then they start to come down. You know what I mean? Then the S, then the people who are sellers, then they are okay. I S L, okay. Is but you, but you see, the institutional are very clever people. They they can see the psychologies of the retail trader that they will only lose twenty pips, and they always in hope of thousand pips. So, retail trader, you won't feel a pain. You won't feel a pinch for that twenty pips because you are always looking at oh, I have a very good risk management. I I lose, I lose ten pips. I win, I win hundred pips. I have a very good risk management. Then now this is now they know how the retail trader thinks, right? Then this is how they're going to react. So when you place a sell limit here, SL C pip, E C pip, then TP hundred pip, one thousand pips. Then when you hit your SL, okay, SL lah, never mind. I have another round to try, All right? So not retail trader when they place a sell limit, they think that okay, I lose lose twenty pips lah. Then they don't feel a pinch. That's why institutional comes in in this kind of chart. Sell limit, when the sell limit comes in, they push. Hit the SL, okay, never mind. But when the buyers comes in, oh, it's going up, it's going up, it's breaking, it's breaking. Okay, the candle has not stopped. Is then they they thought it's breaking. Okay, I shall buy now. When they buy, buy, buy now. Over here, the institutional decided. When they see the sell limit as all SL, now it's time for them to sell back. They sell it back. Then the buyers, buyers, they buy here. Okay, example ah. Huh? They buy here, for example. Oh, they see. Oh, the price go up so high, na. Oh, keng mak mak keng mak mak. Okay, how order now? Then SL, SL they set it here. Okay, twenty pip, easy pip again. Twenty pip again. Who knows? They go hit on the SL, then selling coming back. So they sweep. So they sweep the sell limit. They also sweep the buy trades. So this is how the market reacts. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a story. Okay. That's a story to tell all of us. Okay. Something like this. When you see, you see a chart this way, this way, and this way. So over here. Such a situation. A lot of people cause a false breakout. But a lot of us, we do not know what is the meaning of the false breakout. What causes a false breakout? So that's only one of part of the saying, huh? okay? So by looking at this, as you can see from the lowest of the lowest part of the chart over here, this part, okay, start to build higher support, higher support, but it's still not breaking the resistance. When it's not breaking the resistance, okay, there must be something, and that something is. This resistance is going to push the price to meet a support level. Whenever a support is not breaking, it will have two. It will have two fate. Okay, the two outcomes will be very easy to identify. One, it will build a lower resistance. Okay, that means a lower high, or it will test on the previous resistance. Either way, so over here. When it meets on the okay, when it meets on the resistance, and it's not breaking, that means to say you have two options. One is to build a higher support, higher low, a sign of buying, a sign of strength to test the resistance once again, or it will go down, test the support level to break it, to push it lower. Okay, so th this is the concept. So when I see this for the past few days, it did not build any higher support. It did not build any higher support. So it comes down here to the support level, to the previous support level here. And today, candle opens below the support, below the support, but into the area, but it's into the area. So can I sell? Okay. But this is just only a by reading this. Okay, it's telling me that it's a downward trend. I have I still have chance to sell okay, because it's in the on the verge of breaking. Okay. So after reading the trend, day one, 
let's go to H4. You have to zoom in, zoom in down. Okay. If you have uh, seen my last week journal video, okay, telling you that we are like a satellite. Okay, we are we are traders in the satellite. Okay, satellite here. This satellite is in the space. So we read the friend, which is the Earth. Then we shrink down. Use Google Map. Okay, so we shrink down. Okay, Google. Then we shrink, 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 shrink until the country, which province, which city, and now which street, the right to your doorstep. So H four. We are zooming in to check. Okay, to check. So let's see, what are we looking out for? All right. Hi, Simon. Nice to see you here. So over here, when we shrink down, okay, today, right? Today is the fifth. Am I right? So today is the starting day. It's over here. Okay, the starting day is here. So over here, can you see when the market opens today, it hits on the previous support as well. This is a support area. I will look out for support area not in day one, but I will look out in now look out support and resistance in H4. H4, right? Okay. So hi, Leroy Blends. Am I right? Did I pronounce your name correctly? Leroy Blends. I hope I'm correct. <laughs> okay. So over here, and I'm using H4. Okay, I'm using H4 as a support. To look out for my support so over here as you can see this is a support that's a green that's a red candle okay sedang and ckl so over here is a support level this area is a support level so the support okay support over here has been tested tested become and break become a resistance here which is the, what we are experiencing in the day one here like this correct Okay, so right now in H4, support, it breaks and it's staying below the support area. Can you see the candle from the today, the opening? Let me zoom in. Okay, so 5th of April, the opening of market here. It stays here. Okay, it stays here. Hits on the support from the bottom. It's not from the top, it hits on the support. There's a difference, huh? If when you come down, it hits on support, very likely it will retrace upwards. Okay, very likely it will retrace upwards. But when you are from the from the bottom, okay, and when I uh, hit on the support, uh, this is a bit this is a bit tough. Okay, it's a bit different, huh? Okay. All right, you said it correctly. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I remember that. Okay, I love to remember names. Uh, because I, I, I always think that it's always a respect. Okay. Okay. So do let me know if I pronounce it wrongly. Huh? Okay. Okay. So over here, so this part here, when it hits on the support from the from uh, from the bottom, and now it stays below the support area. Okay, it stays below the support area, which is good. Okay? Because for a chart. When it breaks the support and it wanted to go back to the support area here, okay, this here. For example, okay, for example, right? Once you jump into the sea, once you jump into the sea, right? For example, you are doing a canoeing or you are kayaking, okay. Once your once you're capsized with one person alone. It's not easy for you to go back up onto your, your canoe. It's not easy to go back on your kayak, you know. It's not easy. But it's easy to jump down, correct? Okay, so it's the, the concept is the same. Okay. So once you once you see that for the first four hours, okay, the first four hours remains below the support and form a green and red candle, right? Tell C then it's a sign of resistance. It's a sign of resistance. So now the sign of resistance appears below the support, which is good. This is what I always say uh, during my live analysis in the 
Okay, so I always say break the support and with a new resistance below. Haha, that's why that's why I always say right. Okay, so over here, if a Kel Sidang in Thai na. Okay, so green candle, red candle. This is a sign of resistance below the support area. So in this case, the sign of selling. It's a sign of continuity selling below the support area. After it breaks, you know, it may hover around, struggle around, uh, just like, you know, you're, just like when you capsize, you struggle around to, to go back, right? But ultimately, if you can't go back, you'll just let go and drown. <laughs> of course, no, all right? Okay, so the price start to drown, okay? And uh, out of nowhere, I start to go back. And okay, I decided to try again, so go back. But it's so tiring, you're totally worn out. And it hits on the support, it comes back again. Can you see a long week here? Or this long week? Okay, there's a story for all this long week. Okay, why is this? Why is this story? It's actually telling us, okay, there's a very strong rejection. Okay, it's a very strong rejection from this level. From this level. Why is that from this level? You see, this is previously there is a support here. Okay, there's a support over here, correct? The support go up, come down, it breaks. Are you telling me that okay, right now and uh, there's a lot of buyers? Same thing, the support become resistant. Okay, but over here, when it starts to break, okay, when it starts to break, this buyer it, it it doesn't have any testing here, so it doesn't show any uh buyers is coming in. So when it started to have a uh, red candle, green candle, and this one is show start to show me, oh, the buyers actually start buying here, over here, okay, this level, okay, this level. When you can you see a red candle, green candle, then CKL, this is a support, a sign of support. So can you see that's this uh this candle? Okay, there's a lower wick here. Okay, so it become a morning star here. Okay, so hammer, right? It looks like a hammer. Looks like a hammer. Okay, over here, whatever you call. I don't like to call the candles name, all right? So I like to call this big buying. So there's a big buying candle because previously it was selling, then it pushed up to buy. Am I right? Push up to buy. Okay. Okay. So over here, now it started to buy. When it started to buy, the next candle open. Okay, and continue the buying. And the buyers keep going, keep going by hits of the same, then it comes back again. So that means to say, in this level here, this timing here, there are buyers actually comes in and we and wanted to buy. Okay, wanted to buy and force it back. Unfortunately, it is not, and it become a green candle, red candle, then uh, CKL and C then, then the selling comes in. So when this selling comes in, what does it mean here? Previous support has been tested once here. Okay. And now, so buyers go up and buyers start to lose confidence. They sell away their trade. They increase the selling volume in the market. And start to sell. All right? Okay, start to sell. So this part here, naturally it has become a has become a the previous support has become a resistance. Resistance. Okay. All right. Okay. So over here. So when you see this, okay. So the resistance is here. The new resistance is here. So that but this resistance is created by the selling off of the buying trades from losing of confidence of the buyers that created. So this one. Now again, this one okay, started to test again with the rejections, rejections, and now when the market opens, it has a rejections over here. When I see this rejection, I'm very happy. Of course, I have my system. I have this uh, aqua line. Okay, okay. Xian si, si xian kao, xian muang, xian si fa. <laughs> Fa, okay, same fa, okay. So my aqua line here. When you see this candle, it goes up, got rejected below. That means to say it's actually respecting the resistance movement. 
actually respecting the resistor move. So I know it's not breaking the resistor and it has a chance to sell. Okay. <laughs> Love my canoe analogy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. So much analysis for five pips. No, no, no. Actually, uh, uh, I would say, okay, I'm analyzing all this, okay. But my personal preference is that I capture a five pips for myself. So you may want to capture more, all right? <laughs> okay. So let me let me show you. Huh? Okay. Let me show you. Uh, let me show you why did I trade Euro Dollar today. Okay. So over here. Looking at this, okay, I know that the, the selling is a rejection market, okay, it's a rejection, okay, so it's uh, time for me to sell as well, right, so let me put it here, and let's go to H1, zooming down, every time frame, smaller, smaller, smaller to the very, to the very, very point of precision that I want it to be, okay, so, can you see in uh, H1 over here, it's like, uh, you know, uh, okay, it's, uh, it's hitting on the support level, the support level here, okay, there's a support level over here, can you see, okay, so there's a support level here, then a higher support over here, okay, then now I have another higher support over here, okay, so using this in H1, H1 will be the point, it will be the point. I will use it to see is it breaking or is not breaking. Okay, so H4 over here is very clear. I have my resistance up there. Okay, so I'm gonna change this, bring it down. I'm gonna bring the red, red dotted line here. Okay, so over here, I bring it down here to show that this is a resistance. For my support, okay, my support. H4, look out for the resistance as well as to look out for the support level. Okay, support level. So in H4, look at this. This is a H4, and this is a H4 support. So you see, as as, as a lot of um, us uh, retail market, we can read support. Okay, with with the most touches. Okay, and uh, as you can see these are all the support, right? So this is a targeted price. This is the targeted price. But can it reach the targeted price? That's another story. Okay, so at least from day one, you can tell the trend. After that, from H4, you start to plot the resistance. If the trend is selling, why we plot the resistance is because the, the basic theory of a forex market, the logic behind is that if you are going to sell, if the trend is selling, you always look out for resistance to sell. Because you're selling from the resistance, so they have more space to reach and to catch more pips. If you are buying, if the trend is a bullish trend and you are buying, that naturally you have to look out for a support, right? You won't be looking out for the resistance. Oh, I'm going to break the resistance. I'm going to go out furthermore. Well, the resistance is just like a ceiling, you know, so, so difficult to break, right? So it's so difficult to trade against the trend. So we always trade with the trend, along the trend, okay? So if I'm selling, like today I'm selling, I'm looking out for resistance. That's why I'm looking out for resistance in H4. And I also want to look out for a support in H4. The reason behind is that, that support level is a guide for me to take my profit. I want to take a profit before it hits on the support level. Okay, all right. Okay, so, that's for H4. So in H1, okay, in H1 over here, H1 will be the time frame where I'm going to zoom in. Okay, I have my support and resistance on. So now I'm going to take take a look at this support and resistance here. Okay, how is it looks like uh, when I when I when, when I see this? Okay, a lot of hours, a few hours has been testing the resistance, has been testing, testing, and nothing comes down. And my support is still quite right away, right? The wheel. So now testing the resistance, testing the resistance is not breaking. That means I got a chance. When is the time to sell? I always look out for a time where it start to test the resistance without breaking and forming a 
green candle, red candle. Okay, green candle, red candle. All right. So, tell see then. Then this is a resistance. Okay. If the resistance is below the resistance area of H4 that we drew this line, then it's even better. Okay, it's even better. So over here, like this time, okay. over here, nine o'clock, ten o'clock. 11 o'clock okay somewhere here right so somewhere here i believe uh yeah earlier on we enter a trade here okay, so yes okay so this one okay, this part here as you can see green red i start to sell okay green red we have a chance to sell now green and red again we get a chance to sell again right because you are forming a new resistance within the resistant area and you are very and you are and you are still a distance away from the support okay let's say this is about 10 pips okay so this is 10. uh earlier on it was not 10 okay so if it's 10 then just grab a five okay you get what i mean all right so right now this is what i usually like to do what am i doing i'm trying to blow off the candle <laughs> okay blow it down blow it down now let's see testing on the support right so let's ask let us go to the let us go to m5 which is a clearer okay a clearer picture here okay let's see what do i what do i see here okay m5 can you see my our support level here yeah this is our support level yes this is a support level so you see this is something that the support has been tested so can you see let me shrink down okay shrink it down so this uh earlier on we have capture uh yeah over here that's right we have capture a ep over here it went about 18 pips okay i i, I know uh, most most of you actually gotten 10 pips so the next wave over here another 10 pips so this is another wave and this is another wave so you see all this has not the it's, uh, it's not testing the support, correct? But can you see there's a trend here? Trend, lower, lower low, and now creating a lower low. And lower the resistance, creating a lower resistance, higher low, creating a lower resistance, higher low, and now the higher low. Whenever you see higher low, what's next? Lower low, correct? So if you see this support, the support of this wave here and it's creating a lower resistance that means it's going to break this for a lower price and when you can see this and this is only about seven pips away from this from the main support of h4 and the and the entry is supposed to be here around this area okay, right this area so when the price actually goes down and now this is the place that we are looking at for this wave of support. Am I right? For this wave. Okay, let me do this. Okay. Now, here. This is the support. So it goes up, coming down. So as you can read, this is the this part. This higher low, uh, sorry, this lower high is a lower resistance. And this lower resistance compared to this, compared to this, compared to this is a sign of selling. Sign of selling. So this is a sign of selling. So when you're creating a higher low, okay, sorry, higher low, I'm going to get lower. This is a lower high here. Okay, and now a lower resistance creating, what's this next? The next thing to go is a lower low. So where the lower low you are talking about? Let's talk about this wave. We'll use this wave. Let's talk about this wave that created a lower resistance, a lower high here. Okay. So when this lower high here, lower resistance creating a lower low is the lower low of this. You get what I mean? Okay. So when it's creating a lower resistance, the expectation should be here. So it should be about 10 pips. Okay, should be about 10 pips. So, like I say, this is the lower low will be created from the lower resistance. 
There's also one thing that you have to take note, which is the support level of H4. This is the support level of H4, am I right? Okay, so this is the support level of H4. Okay, let's see. H4, now we are testing on it, am I right? We're testing it. So uh, let's not confuse this support. Okay, let's move this upward first. So this part here is testing on the support of H4 over here. Support of H4 over here. Okay. So what am I going to do? It hits on the it actually hits on this lower resistance. Compared to this, compared now. So it's actually going down. Going down, yep, all right, man. I'm going to get this for 920 pips. Wow, so good, huh? <laughs> what if you are we are so unlucky and we are so unfortunate that it test and immediately it shoot back with a big hammer, morning star, you call, whatever. Okay, and there goes your profits. So, usually, what I do is that okay, for me personally, because I grab my five pips uh, from from here okay my end uh, yeah around around here my entry okay let's say then i grab a five is about okay i grab a five plus spread it should be about eight okay let's put it eight okay then yeah this is my exit point okay this is my exit point so if i enter here but where's my sl let's take a look your sl in the in terms of h4 okay it will be up here am i right it will be up here right that is the SL. When the trend change from the support level over here, let's say, okay, let's say over here, okay, let's say over here, support, support, and it created the higher support, higher support, it breaks the resistance, then it retests the resistance but not coming back and it forms a buying signal like a red candle, green candle, C dang, and C cal uh, above the resistant that's your sl because the trend has changed remember one thing support and resistant you're going to set your sl there is no definite sl point that you should be looking at you can use atr to place your sl which is very effective or you can read the chart according to the movement of the market then you set your sl you get what i mean all right Oh yeah, just nine. Okay, just nice. Oh, and where do you put your SL? Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so engrossed with uh, my my explanation. Okay, so over here. Now, if I'm going to enter here, oh, you 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 mean you get five pips and uh, plus spread is about eight pips here. Okay, you get five pips and I'm going to experience uh thirteen pips, fourteen, fifteen pips of SL. That doesn't seem like a good risk management. Okay, that's fine. I understand there's a lot of uh, people asking me uh, looking at this chart here okay it's a very good example now i enter here but my personal preference i grab a five and i leave the market okay and i leave the market but if you enter here to the support you have about 16 pips one six one six okay 16 pips so 16 pips compared to the SL here is about 16 pips. Well, just nice, you know, if you're entering at the correct point, one to one, I think that's fine. But if you're entering around the previous uh, resistance over here, the earlier on that we entered earlier on this morning. So it comes down, I have about, I have about 27 pips before it hits on my support. I have a potential of 27 pips, but if it hits, and it breaks the resistance. Well, I only lost three pips. Am I? I'm I'm losing three pips. So, do I have a very good risk management? Oh, yeah. You're only losing three pips, and you have a potential of 25, 27 pips, and you are great. It's a perfect risk management. <laughs> no, 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 no. I I don't mean that. Okay, I don't mean that. If you can plot your support and resistance well. And you can enter at a correct point naturally your risk level will will be really uh, reduced greatly reduced if you are there watching and not like i'm gonna enter a trade and i'm gonna have a sleep you know and i'm wake up i want to have profits i uh, know okay that's bullshit okay <laughs> for me i'm a full time trader i will i will you know i will stay i will i'll give a gauge uh, a working hour 
so that I, so whenever I'm trading, when I'm trading, I enter a trade, I set my TP, then I will watch, and I watch if the market turns against me, and I have my SOP. Okay, it hits my SOP for SL. Okay, then I'll give you a stop. Then I will manually give you a stop. You get what I mean, All right? So yeah, uh, yes, that it makes sense. I think about it the same way. Okay. Okay, I believe you are a very experienced one, huh? Okay. Yes, your win rate needs to be higher with a bigger SL. Uh yeah, that's quite true also. Okay. So uh so you see the win rate needs to be higher with a bigger SL. And you quote this statement, I have a pause. Pause, these statements really wakes me up you know now because it brings me back to the past when i was like i don't know where my sl should be <laughs> i don't know where where uh how to create a win rate and uh how to versus with the sl and you know yeah well, thank you <laughs> may i know where you're from okay so okay that's interesting okay so over here that's why the, like an example over here okay so same thing, you see, uh, as you can read M5 into a smaller time frame, into a smaller time frame, okay? And you can see actually it's testing on the resistance, testing and uh, you know, uh, some force breakout and uh, now a lower resistance created, lower resistance is created. And the support has no change. So the support has always been there and it's a matter of where did we enter. Uh, okay, it's breaking. Okay, now it's breaking here and I enter a trade well after it breaks. So you are left with only 8 pips. So measure it yourself. You are going to enter a trade and you have only a space of 8 pips, including a spread, including a spread. Ask yourself, is it a trade worth your risk? The space is you know the, the the availability here you know the space here the number of pips here is so tight i won't enter a trade i won't enter if if i want to enter like ah oh, okay it's breaking i'm gonna enter i'm gonna chase another okay you're chasing correct you're chasing and you've forgotten and because of the anxiety you actually neglected the space towards the support level and that is where a lot of traders actually enter a trade. Hey, I'm entering a selling trade, and the moment I enter, not long after, it went up, become a buying trade. Ah, forex is a scam. <laughs> Am I right? Okay, because you're entering a wrong entry point, you should be entering nearer to the resistant area that creating more space and opportunity for you to grab the desire profit don't don't enter oh yeah it's breaking eric come on let's chase it okay oh my god i did enter and i missed 13 pips no you did not miss you just avoid the risk ah look at it carefully mindset a trader mindset is very important so this part here is always talking about mindset trading when it come to forex it's always talking about mindset you do you enter a selling trade on this you know upon uh, breaking the support no right okay so do you could enter a buying trade on the resistance oh thinking that it's always breaking it's always breaking okay no right okay so always enter a selling trade in the in the area of resistance and always take profit whether it will break or not we do not know okay take the profit before it hits the profit ah uh, sorry before it hits the support level okay before it hits on the support level okay so now guys uh over here one trick okay one trick uh there's a lot of saying and uh, for the past 20 over years uh, this uh there's always this uh, saying about support okay the number of tries are pa 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 okay the number of tries it hits on the support 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 test 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 more support tested Okay, the more I mean, uh, the more hits on the support, the support is getting weaker. 
uh, well, it's something like, you know, this one, this thing here. Okay. So I'm going to, okay, I'm going to take this. Okay. All right. I'm going to take this. It's a hammer. Okay, I'm gonna hit, 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 pa! Finally, it breaks. Okay, yeah. So, all oh, right. Well, it's a. Uh, it's not like you are hitting nail over the board. Okay, that's not really a case. Okay, that's not exactly the case. Uh, I would be saying. So I will. I. 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 I will be. I will be saying that is that you know. Uh, when you see, when you see, look at this. If there's a support here, okay, let's say, okay, let's let's use this. Okay, let's use this, this for example. This is a support area, right? Okay, now this is support. So I'm gonna do this. Okay, now here. this is the resistor. Okay. A little bit so they can see the red line, the red dotted line over here. Okay. So the bottom here is a support. Uh, it cannot be hundred percent, but most of the time, okay, you can read it, and the logic is there. Okay, when you see from a resistor over here, there's a resistor here. Okay, I'm using M five, huh? Okay, because M five has uh, more volatility, so they can uh, give us a better concept. Okay, so over here, <clears throat> when you see the highest okay. and next when it swing down towards the support level let's say it touched and it went up again and it's creating a lower resistance pre compared to this okay then it swing down getting nearer to the support that means to say the resistant area the resistant area is still trying their best has the support not just lower low but also lower resistance when there's a lower resistance over here when there's a lower resistance over here compared to the previous low and now it swing up again and this lower resistance creating another lower low nearer to the support nearer to the support okay so next when you swing up again, okay, let's say swing this, a lower low, a lower resistance, sorry, not lower low, a lower resistance here. And hits, okay, this is a support. All right, so can you see the support is here? Okay, there's a support, it stops here, it goes up. Then this is a lower resistance compared to this. Went back to the same support, it's a second choice. Okay, this is the second try. So the third try, the fourth try, the support get weaker. No, not necessary. Okay, not necessary. But the important key point here is lower resistance. Went up the high. Okay, so this is a, what do you call this? A higher low or lower high? <laughs> this is called a lower high here, which means a lower resistance. Okay, this is a lower high. Compared to this wave, okay, this is a lower high. Lower high compared to this, okay. So lower high going back to the same support. Ah, now when it goes back to the same support, it's a good sign. It's a good sign. Usually to me, it's a good sign. When it hits on support, I will say, okay, good. I'm not going to enter now. They're bound to have a lower resistance for me to enter later on. So let me see where is it, okay. So it go up. Now it start to sell again. Okay, when it started to sell, when it started to sell this part. Okay, when it start to sell, over here, let me see. Okay, a lower resistance going to my support. I have about seven pips. Okay, seven pips. Okay, seven pips. Jet pip, jet pip in Thai, jet pip. Okay, I want to get a five. But with this support, do you think it's worth giving a try, taking the risk? No. And if it goes down, right at the bottom is about 13 to 14 pips. Okay, if I got to get a 5, I still have some chance, right? Okay, I still got some chance. So compared to these 13 pips, 
I'm gonna get a five compared to my SL up there. Oh, 15. Can I stomach this? Is it worth? I'll ask myself. I'll ask the question you know, to myself. No. Okay, so probably not. And I'm gonna give this a miss. Okay, so even it's come even it comes down, okay, then okay, take take it as a miss. That's it. Okay, I don't have a good trade here. Who knows? It went up over here. Okay, now it went up over here. Nearer to my resistance. And it is also a lower resistance. Lower resistance, a lower high here, correct? And now, is it better? So let's say here to here. Okay, I have about 11 pips, 13 to 12, 11 to 12 pips. Okay. And by showing the touches, touches and the lower resistance and now the lower resistance has surfaced. It also means that it's going to test on the support level into the area of support. So this is the area of support. So flip it down this way. So it becomes then area of support. Can you see the magic there? All right. So this is the area of support. So I'm going to use, okay, area of support. So I have about 17 pips of space uh, to the max. And uh, in the middle, okay, so 15, okay, this is 10. All right. So if it's 10, I want to grab a five, inclusive of my spread, say three, and five plus three equal eight. So I have 11. I have uh, three pips of buffer. I think it's quite fine. I think it's quite good. That's fine. Okay. okay. So, yep. And I think, uh, add to my SL, uh, five compared to 10 pips. I think that's quite okay. I can, I can, I can stomach that. Right. Another two trees. I'll be back. Okay. So, yeah, I think that's quite fine. Okay. So, yeah, I, I would be more than willing to take this risk. So you, so you get what I mean? Can you see? Okay, I'm I'm actually I'm actually uh, replaying my emotions and uh, the way how I am going to enter a trade. Uh, what did I ask myself? Uh, how did I read the chart? You know? Okay. All right. So I hope I hope this video is quite entertaining for all of you. There. <laughs> okay. Hi CK. Hello. Okay. So so that's a uh, so that's how I actually. Uh, grab my profits here so this is how i read the whole thing to break the support oh this is how i read the whole chart okay to understand the resistance okay where how to read the resistance in the in the whole area here okay in the whole of area here from the resistance to the support this whole area here okay and i hope it's a uh, really something that i read this is how I read and uh, this is how I anticipate where it's going. That's why I'm confident with my five. Of course, you can grab more than five as long as the support, the availability is there. It's more than enough. It's good. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Leroy Blanche. All right. So that's good. Okay. So the next thing, when we are going to, when we are reading all these charts here, next thing that I'm talking about is that when this when this chart is started, uh, when the chart started to turn down, okay, there's always something a trick. All of you should know, okay. That's a trick, okay. So I'm going to I'm going to share this trick over here, okay. So this trick, uh, is a is also a very simple simple identification of the change. And as you can see, okay, uh, this is uh, this is going up, no, it's going up. Okay, support here. See the support here, this area. Okay. If we if we actually minimize it, you can see the support is actually from very far away yesterday. Okay, the hit on the support here, it went up, coming near, and test, and test, and not breaking, and test, and started to go up. Retest again, correct? Okay, let's not talk about this retest, this today. Okay, so now you tested, tested a few rounds and started to go up. Uh, this is this is something uh, really very, uh, you know, 
very threatening, am I right? Okay, so yep. H4, let me see. H4, let's see. Okay, H H4 over here. Okay, this is the one of the support. Uh, Still, we are we are still in the area of support. Okay, we are still in the area of support. Huh? Okay, so I say over here, tested. Can you see? Once it's tested, the support. Once the support has been tested, two, there will be two things to bear in mind. One, that it will create a, it will create a lower resistance to retest, or it will go up all the way to test the resistance. Okay, so two things to bear in mind. Okay, these two things you have to bear in mind. Comes down, tested, so it become a higher support. Come a higher support, higher support, correct? Okay, so now let's zoom in to this part here. Tested, tested, higher support. This part, this one, this one. Okay, <laughs> this is something. Okay, interesting, huh? All right. Okay, let's see. Support, higher support, higher support, higher support, and after that, it zoom up all the way. It zoom up, correct. And that's it. Testing the now, testing the resistance, and start to come back. Started to come back. Okay. So let's look at this part, this line here. Over here. Please don't tell anyone that I share this with you. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to delete this video after after we ended the live session. <laughs> okay, so yep, okay. Over here. Okay, here. <clears throat> okay, so the support, Esther, the higher support, Esther, the higher support, and now there's a higher support, and this higher support pushed through all the way up to the resistance, am I right? So this is the, this is the last, this is the last push. You see, this is the last push. Okay. So this is the last push of the high from the support. Once again, support. Higher support, higher support, higher support. Last push all the way up to the resistance. Okay, towards the resistance. Okay, so this is the last push. Can you see the last push? Before I go on, okay, if you can see the last push here and get what I mean by the last push from the support, okay, can you give me a number five? Ah. Huh. And number five, okay. Give me a number five. Wow, well, let me drink some water. Okay, you know, I have a very poor vo uh, throat here. Vocal, uh, okay, talk too much over the years. <laughs> okay, that's good. Well done, guys. Okay, all right, so we have a plenty of number five here. Okay, that's good. So, <clears throat> okay, look out. This is what I'm going to say. This is the last push. And now, okay. So when it start to come down, okay. So this is also a support, am I right? Okay. See then, see cal, red candle, green candle. It forms like a support. Okay, so here, it's also a kind of support. This is the final last push. So when it comes back, okay, when it comes back, if okay, if this if this thing if this last push break also means that the higher low higher low higher support higher support higher support of going by trend changing changing okay 
the trend is changing back to the selling okay so you see this part here is the higher support higher support higher support correct but this is the final last push of the higher support that actually tested the resistance if it's not breaking and it comes back to the resistance area this last push is very crucial whether will it change the trend and that will determine by whether it will break this okay forming a new resistance below this level okay wow okay so that means to say i want it to be like this okay i want it to be like this somewhere here so this is the last push push up and this is the turning point the transition from the bull coming down into the bear so you see this this area a lot of turbulence so it comes back here go up again into the turn into this area and comes back here and can you see this lower resistance is actually getting lower okay it's still in this area okay it should be to be exact it should be here lah. okay to be exact it should be here right so <clears throat> by looking at this this is the final push am i right okay this is the final push so this area is very crucial so when i zoom out you can see it very clearly how it's going to be like so when this area this is a final push breaks it, naturally it will goes back okay if it don't goes back it's a bonus if it goes back if it's not breaking the resistance still maintaining in this area that means this area is a very good entry area this area is a very good entry area so let's say if i'm going to enter here let's say and to my resistance okay i'm i'm gonna suffer about five to eight pips of sl if it breaks you know okay but if it's actually going down okay to hit on the support which about 16 pips of space potential this is potential okay this is potential so yeah so i definitely i will talk more about this okay uh so this is the part that i'm talking about okay so this is one of the area that uh if we are main, remaining in our uh, sorry if we are maintaining in within the resistor area where's the part entry point is the best okay which is the best part you know which is the best part to enter i wouldn't say this is the best strategy in the world okay <laughs> but so far so good that it works there's always a reason behind this there's a logic behind why i say this is the area Okay. that's always a reason okay that's always a logic behind it okay right so okay so over here by looking at this this we can identify where once we plotted out this area so even if we start to swing down then you know if we if i'm if i'm here okay over here i want to continue the selling okay and i think that you no know, uh this is not the best area that i'm going to enter a trade okay when you swing up oh yeah it's above the resistance and it's below the resistance the previous resistance is a lower resistance looks good to sell but i'm above the resistance and i'm not in the best position to sell i'm not in the best area to sell right i want the best okay i want the best area area of the mark mark okay <laughs> But I, this is not okay. Let's say, okay, I have a resistance in this. I have a resistance here, an entry point here. Okay, let me plot it out. I'm sure there will be okay. So let's see. Uh, for guys that uh over here, you see. Can you see? Is this a no Malaysians? Hi, are you there? You have time, ah? 在吗？进场点，你看到吗？是不是最佳的一个地方？ This is the best area, correct? Okay. So let's see. Let's come back here. Okay. Over here, can you see? There's a resistance in this area. E comes down. Mang. When it goes down, mang. <laughs> Will be very good. You get what I mean? Okay. So next one. Okay. So. If it's yeah okay, I'm gonna get a five. Okay, I'm gonna get five pips here. Uh, 
yeah, five people. Uh, unfortunately, during this hour, I was having my, I was having my early dinner just now. So it went down. Okay, I missed. So I come back here. Come back here. Okay. In this area, I have a resistance again. I have another resistance again. So is this a good resistance? Is this a good area to sell? Let's check. I, I, I would say yes, it is. It is a good area to sell. It is. Okay. Why? You know where is the best spot. Why I plot this out, right? Let's check again for patience here. Okay, so let's see. Okay. Ping arrow. Okay. 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 <laughs> Somebody asked me, did you drink? <laughs> Why am I having a lot of jokes to me? Okay, so yeah. Okay, so over here. So over here, this is where guys uh out there uh I I I I wouldn't want to use a trading view, okay. Uh, so just uh MT4 is good enough for the rest of the the rest of us here. Uh, in some system, and uh, over here, it swing down, goes up again. Okay, it goes up again into this area. Okay, this area good for me to sell again. Uh huh. Right. So let's see. This is a support. Now, will there be a? Will there be a uh, any entry point? Will there be any entry point for me? Yeah, this this area, this area of uh, this area is good. You know, this area is good. You don't have to be very specifically inside here, okay? But don't be out there, okay? Too high, definitely no, because the resistance is there. Don't have it too low, okay? Where you are so near to the support, okay? That's the concept, huh? Okay. So I will say if I'm gonna enter, I will just now I will say I'm gonna enter around this area. Gonna enter around this area, okay? Let's see. <laughs> alright, for Malaysians, okay, and Thai, Thailand, alright, okay. Let's see over here. So can you see? Do we have a good entry point here? Do we have? 有没有有没有进场点？有没有好的进场点给我们？好不好？ Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is this is exactly. Okay, this is exactly that uh, you must know how to spot. You must know how to spot it. Okay, so well, guys, uh, there are, there are messages coming in that uh, you have a great indicator, great system. That's why you know where to enter for a trade. Okay, <laughs> now you can have it too. Okay, so let's see. Where's my chart? Euro dollar. Okay. Euro dollar here. Over here. Very clear. That, uh, oh. Support. Let me quickly just uh, illustrate one example. Okay, so H four, I have a resistance here. Okay. Stay here, and the support is uh... so over here in M five. Five. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So, well, that's another previous support. Am I right? Okay, over here like this. Yeah. You just need to plot all this out. That's all. And can you see? M five tested tested support has go for a higher support here. Okay. 
higher support over here and higher support the last push okay so i'm going to plot this out again one Do you see it's going to be another one that the push push and another push okay so this is how it goes to be like right i hope it's not very difficult i know this video is a bit long <laughs> okay so if it's too long i think uh, the rest of you who actually wanted to review okay it, you may not have the patience huh? okay and especially when this is a live session it's very difficult for me to actually <laughs> do you want to do it for me <laughs> okay my guys uh, if they're going to do it for me i think they're going to stay here for another one and a half hours okay all right guys uh i guess uh yeah i guess it's also about time okay for those who just came in uh, thank you so much for just uh dropping by okay i'm here to actually uh to show you how actually i trade my euro dollar today okay trading my euro dollar today to grab my profits okay to grab my profits so i guess uh i don't know okay so i don't know whether whether so yeah time for beer <laughs> time for beer huh? <laughs> time for beer all right so i hope uh, everyone out there also a good and also nice okay to grab profits like this of course uh today usually i don't really trade a lot okay so i'm not sure if uh you're able to see like this okay like this <laughs> okay so yep just sharing out with you is because uh um uh, i just want to tell i just want to show all of you that trading there are always uh there's always some tricks behind the chart and the main trick is all up here okay it's because up here if you can configure it well the perceptions the perceptions towards the chart reading will be very different okay whether you have any good very perfect system just stay with it or you don't have any system and you are have on the raw chart and you don't know what to do with it okay i can share with you i can tell you it works perfectly the same what is the strategy that works perfectly the same throughout is to understand the logic behind the movement so that you will be able to tell am i going to for five pips or am i going for 10 pips Okay, so basically for me yeah this is how i read my chart well like uh like uh earlier on may you uh earlier on the uh, leroy blends you were you were saying that for five pips there's a lot of analogy okay <laughs> uh yeah that's right but uh okay like i said five pips is for myself but if you want to grab more okay just be sure that you know where to exit before it hits on the support if you are selling okay right so guys i hope you like this session okay i hope you like this one and a half hour session uh which i'm uh giving out today and i would like to apologize that uh, for the delay which should have a delay for uh, 30 minutes okay i'm not sure why later on we're going to we're going to work on it okay to to, to find out what's the problem so to ensure the next live streaming tomorrow okay for my analysis forex trading plan analysis will be fine will be smooth <laughs> okay guys uh same thing all right uh i hope uh, today if you have any questions or you have any better ideas right do leave me a comment okay do leave me a comment over in my the comment box below this video alternatively alternatively i as uh, as many of you know that uh, i'm actually having uh i i i i also having a lot of uh, consultation okay consultation so if you have any consultation uh that you wish uh, you wish to have a uh, you know something for me to address okay feel free to drop your message over okay this uh facebook page of acs learning hub okay uh jamie my back anchor support okay my support lead she will she will arrange but we are overwhelming now we are really overwhelming okay 
So the Q has already goes up to mid May. Okay, mid of May. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So I'm very sorry because if you if you want me to speak to you, okay. All right. Anyway, guys, remember to click on the subscribe button over there. Right. So remember to click on the subscribe button right here. Okay. And uh subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, it's a very young channel, so I hope to grow this channel to more communication with all of you to build on our community here. Okay. And also remember to follow my daily forex analysis, which is uh which is uh how should I guys can you can you can you do this for me? Okay. Like this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is one of my playlists. Okay, I'll be doing it uh, every day live. Okay, so yeah, advertising time. Okay, so yeah, I'm just sharing with all of you. Yeah, okay, good. Thank you. Would you like to see my face? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, anyway. <laughs> all right, so yes, uh, so this is uh, this is how I actually manage my YouTube channel. I want to have more communication with uh, more engagement with all, all of you out there. Right. Yes. Uh. Thank you so much. And uh, it's, I think it's about time. My my advertising time is over. My guys were saying that they are having over time now. <laughs> okay. So yep. I hope tonight is a very fruitful night for all of you. Okay. So thank you so much, guys. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up. Smash the like button if you like this training section. All right. I'm gonna put this video to private after I end this live session <laughs> no, nah, okay no 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 okay i'm going to i'm going to put this under the playlist okay uh i'm i'm going to put this under a playlist okay so later on you can check back okay so this playlist okay so this playlist uh, will be will be uh i think uh 2022 forex trading strategy okay so i'm going to put this into this playlist so you can check it out so far this playlist is very new i'm going to build it okay furthermore and more and more so that uh, whenever you want to learn something you are thinking, okay so I'll just pop to this playlist okay just pop it up into this playlist so that it will you're just uh you know okay you will you'll get yourself prepared huh? it's about mostly about half an hour to one and a half hours okay all right so i'm gonna keep it short that's it all right okay <laughs> Cheers, mate. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video and here with me. All right, thank you so much, guys. So I hope to, to have your support by smashing up the like button once again and also come back whenever I go live. So remember to ring up the bell. Okay, see you again, guys. This is Eric Day from ACS Learning Hub. I shall see you tomorrow with my Forex Trading Plan Analysis. See you guys.